Okay, so now that all that crazy trick-or-treating is over with and stuff, now we can dive into my favorite box of hacking prompts, the Hacker Box. And what do we have this time? Ooh, I'm liking this already. A USB breakout cable with a JST connector. <clears throat> oh! I, is that a USB? No, it's just a plain old, but that's a nice USB cable. Okay, so they've amped up their game there. Man, I could have used these not a week ago to for the pumpkin. Yeah. Oh, well. All right, and, oh, nuts and bolts. Hobby servos. Two hobby servos. Uh, oh, is this a... Go on here. Uh, we've got a Nano. Uh, from Robodin, we've got some some very beefy. Uh, what do we call these things? Escutcheons? No. Um, I, know, I forget what we call those, but they go on the ed end of a servo. But these are these are nice beefy servos. So those will have a lot of torque. Uh, universal clip lens. Are we building a USB microscope? No. What do we have here? Um, hmm, I should recognize this, but I don't. Some good head jumpers. Uh, vision quest. Are we doing computer vision? Are, are we going to build a computer? Yes. Yes, we are. We are going to use, I think, a, a cell phone mounted on a gimbal and then load up some code. This is going to build us a gimbal so we can point our camera. And are we going to load some code onto a Nano? that does computer rec vision, object recognition? Maybe we are. Maybe we are. Okay, so yeah, that's the Nano version 3, 3.3, 3, uh, 168. Well, we'll have to look at that. Huh, interesting. Anything in here that's of interest? Oh, oh. What do we have here? It is, it's a camera. It is a camera chip. And that's what this little baby is for. Oh, um, look at that. I wonder what kind of a camera it is. Now that, that is going to be some fun right there. I can tell. So let's go on to the gargler and see what this little baby actually is. I can't read it from there. Maybe we can do some zooming and read it, but I doubt it. I really doubt it. Maybe. No, I'm going to have to get the, uh, the microscope out. But yeah, uh, I think we're, uh, I think we're building, um, a face detecting gimbal automatic face recognition doodabby. That'll be fun. So yeah, this little thing here is a webcam, um, probably in a form factor that would get installed inside of a laptop or something like that. This is a USB driver, a USB driver chip for the um, for the uh, CMOS sensor there, and um, so that's what this little jobby is going to plug into. So let's figure out what we need to do in order to get enough processing horsepower to do some um, object recognition. My, I mean, my gosh, we could even probably start playing with um, machine learning at some level, I would imagine, if you've got um, something that can take pictures. But who knows? Let's, uh, let's go to the uh, website and see what they, uh, see what they think is going uh, to be on the uh, menu for this hacker box. So yeah, computer vision, 
um, motion tracking using servos. So um, we train the uh, computer vision on an object and then let it sit there. And then we let the uh, computer vision um, program uh, send feedback to the servos so that it keeps the object that we've trained it on in the frame. So yeah, that sounds like fun. Yeah, so they're, uh, we're going to be playing with uh, something called OpenCV, which is a uh, computer uh, vision library. So OpenCV, it's available on a bunch of platforms. Um, it, uh, it's open source, so it's freely, uh, freely usable. I think it's got a pretty, pretty uh, no, I won't say permissive license, but it's, um, it's development friendly, commercial development friendly. And that is exciting because I have actually been looking at it and wondering what what can I use to play with this and well here we go here's a box of stuff that I can use to play with it I have this funny feeling that I listened to a podcast recently about um, somebody talking about using OpenCV and I think it was Mika Scott but um, uh, because um, she's making a uh, a, um, a tracker for her cat and I think she's using OpenCV to to do it and she's got a whole servo system set up with a, a camera on a gimbal mounted on a i think some sort of flying um or um uh cable strung across the lap and you can can you will you can tell which angle you want to take a look at her cat to, to go on and um it will uh it will um automatically point the gimbal at the at the cat so i Something tells me that we're doing something similar to that, or could do something similar to that with this box of stuff, but I don't know. Maybe that came to me in a dream, or I don't know. Okay, so what does a block diagram of what we're going to try and create look like, potentially? We have um, a video camera that is taking a look at our our scene. For instance, now that video camera is going to be mounted on some kind of a, um, a gimbal so that we can adjust the camera so it can, let's say, um, pan and tilt. So because two servos, I'm guessing, one's for pan, one's for tilt. Um, so you can move the camera around and you can pan it back and forth and you can tilt it up and down. So that's one part. Okay, so out of that camera will come some sort of video signal. And apparently, because this is USB, that's going to be encoded over USB. So we've got this video camera creating some sort of a video um, frame collection. So from a from a block diagram perspective, we've got video frame is being captured, then it's going to an encoder to put it over USB, then it's going to send it to a processor, um, that's OpenCV. That processor is going to do a bunch of things. In particular, it could put an output to some sort of display. Or it can do things like um, track object. So that track object um, task will have outputs of um, uh, delta in position. So what change in position um, the object has. So what we will be doing, so over here we have um, gimbal control. That uh, controls the video frame grabber. So this change in position can be fed into a uh, microprocessor. So that's our, our Nano. 
and that nano will control our gimbal control. I think that's more or less the um, block diagram of one project that we could do with our um, box of little goodies there. Okay, let's deal with the mechanics first. I think what I've got is a pan tilt. Okay, so if we mount this servo here so that it's balanced and then mount that there, that will give us a, a tilt and this will give us a pan. Okay, so we've got <clears throat> one servo mounted onto this U-shaped bracket. And this U-shaped bracket is going to be used to mount this pan servo onto our substrate. And we are going to use... Oh, come back here, you. Chicken kisses? What? Holy... Okay, and we're going to be using this as the pan axis. So now I have to figure out how to get some sort of a bushing into here. Um, so let's figure that out. Okay, let's use our handy dandy servo tester to make sure that we've got <clears throat> working servos. Give ourselves five volts. See if five volts does it. And brum, brum, brum. whoa, look at you. Okay, so let's test our servo with our servo tester. Oh yeah. That looks nice. It actually feels nice too. <laughs> okay. Okay. I think we got it. A little public service announcement. These, when you're putting on the, um, the yoke onto the servo head, it, it matters which orientation you put it on in because that is at the um, 80 degree mark right there. I don't know if you, yeah, it, 90 tips down like that so I've got the um, the splines registered incorrectly on the flange that holds the um, the yoke that is going to um, support our camera so yeah uh, I have to disassemble and reassemble bummer same story in the other axis so boohoo poor me Okay, another hit at this um, block diagram. Our microprocessor is communicating to the pan and tilt servos. It's also going to be getting data from over USB from our host computer that will be telling the tilt and pan where, what, posi what position they should take. Also, we're going to be having 
coming into our host through USB is the video frame. So we've got a second port going to the video. So we're going to be getting video data, we're going to be processing it here, and we're going to be commuting, sorry, on our host. We're going to be processing it here and then sending instructions to the pan tilt because the video camera is mounted on a mount there. So, so far, what do we got working? We've got our pan tilt working. I don't know, well, we can easily attach the camera onto the... Um, the yoke up there, and then we've got our microprocessor communicating tilt and pan. Now we have to write some code for the microprocessor so that it can read commands coming from the host, and that host is going to be running um, a uh, processing sketch that will read the video over USB. So on here we have a processing sketch. And it is going to be calling the um, OpenCV libraries. So yeah, so we're going to have a, a CV namespace with all of the different functions that um, that are available in, in the CV platform. And then the processing sketch is going to be reading video and making calls to it. And there's a, you know, a face recognition library in there, and we'll see if that works. So that's um, coming up. Um, but that's as far as I've gotten on this um, hacker box so far. I wanted to get a video up, and uh, so yeah, I, I'll continue on with this because this is all such a blast. Thanks for watching. I don't know why that's just so much fun to play with now. Yeah. Now, if I was to design this, what would I do? Um, okay, so this is not a bearing surface inside of here. One would one would put brass, some sort of a, bar, a brass shim plate inside of here and then you would have a second brass shim so that the, you've got two pieces of brass that are unfinished because right now we've got this brass going against this anodized piece here and um, I mean that anodizing or is that powder coat? No, that's probably a powder coat. Yeah, it's a powder coat. It's not anodized because you can see some chipping right there from my goofing around. So uh, that's that bearing surface isn't going to last very long, but I don't know how long it has to last. And it doesn't have to hold much weight up here either, because if this is our camera, that's not going to take a lot of... Um, that's not a lot of mass that you have to swing around, you know? <laughs> so yeah, it might work. <laughs>